touch his side. Don't touch his side. Right there. Call the police! Call them! None of your business! God hates it, Chris! No, let's do it. That's what you want. The word of God is true. You're dead in your sins and trespasses. You hate God. There's your word of God. You hate God. You're right. I hate you. Well, we love you and that's why we're here. So announce the good news of the gospel. That if you don't repent of your sins, you will die in your trespasses and you will burn in hell for eternity. But there is good news for Christ came and he took the punishment that you deserve. Repent of your sins and believe in Christ or you will perish. So, for those that might have been watching earlier, um, we got here. It was just my family and I. Um, so, <laughs> not a not a threatening group of people, uh, a two-year-old, 14-year-old, and a 10-year-old, and um, here with our signs, um, not even using microphones or anything, and uh, my wife said, here comes trouble, a lady uh, uh, who came, uh, she, I guess she threw something or purse or something, and started charging this way and making threats and tore down the signs and and uh, so it, it, it was 
little nerve wracking here for a moment, especially with children here and my wife. And she says some things that were offensive to her as well. And um, but it it did give me an opportunity to share the gospel. She confessed that she hates God and she hates us. And um, but we called her to repentance. Um, so we pray that God will regenerate her heart and give her saving faith um, that will uh, that she will be broken over her sin and that God will transform this life this soul that's going to an eternal soul that will if she does not repent today or at some point that she will spend eternity in hell and that should break her her heart as much as it it um, you know that when you, you get those emotions where you see the, the, the increase of hostility against Christians and especially against, you know, you, you can see, this is a, a, an example of it. People that are just here, a family with a two-year-old with some signs, not even saying anything. Um, and it the, the caused that much anger. It says a lot. So the police did arrive. Um, they said, uh, we're just here for our weekly checkup, check-in. Um, they don't take our information now because they know who we are for the most part and they know that we don't cause problems but there are people like this I don't know what's going on it's definitely an increase of, um, of uh, some hostility and that's taking place um, here and it's unusual for during the week um, Saturdays their other businesses are closed so you know we, we know who's going into the abortion mill it's uh you can you can use your microphones it's, it's not going to affect any other businesses and things like that um, but during the week we we don't do that um you know obviously like i just did if we share the we can share the gospel we do it for sure but um and if we have we have had top opportunities to talk with people but you know there's nothing that would besides our signs that would cause people to act out the way she did so um it, it was it's been weird <laughs> the lady got out of the car uh, went to over to the police officers after I spoke to him I did mention to him what happened and um, I don't know what she said to him we got our it all on video so it, it's okay um, and a few other people went over I don't know if they were defending us or trying to make us out to be the bad guys but again we got on video but um, a couple of police officers still here a couple of them are leaving, I think, but we're leaving as well. So um, God's been gracious to us. He protected us, and um, the gospel was proclaimed. So uh, thank you for your prayers, and, uh, and pray for all those that come out here, um, not just this place, but all around the country that proclaim the gospel, whether at abortion clinics or in street corners and anywhere, any place, because the days are growing darker and uh, we need more Christians to be out here and be active in evangelism um, whether out in the streets or in you know dinner tables wherever but um, we need the prayer for sure because there's definitely spiritual warfare taking place when you come to abortion mill you see the invisible uh, battle in the physical realm it's it's very strange but um, you know this is what God has called us to do. So we all should be doing something. And then even if you can't come, to be in prayer. So thank you.